soon as this finishes logging in, we can proceed. And we're in, and I'm going to come up here to my devices menu. Um, I'm out, I have to hit my right control, obviously, break out, bring down my devices menu, and I'm going to choose install guest editions. And it doesn't appear that anything happened, but it really has. It's properly mounted my VirtualBox guest editions now. So what I'm going to do is open a terminal window. Yay. And what has happened is um, I'm going to go to my media folder because when I chose to mount the, um, to install the guest editions, it didn't actually install anything on the operating system, but what it did is it properly mounted it. So if I hit do a list, you'll see right there we have the VirtualBox guest editions is now mounted. So I'm going to change to that folder. this now, oh, yeah. lowercase, there we go, and here we have all of the stuff that's on that ISO, and you can see there's a bunch of fun stuff in here because the standard VirtualBox Guest Editions ISO pretty much works for all supported clients. Now, um, the ones that we're concerned with are the Linux uh, ones, and you'll see there's two of them there, um, VBox Linux Editions dash AMD64.run and VBox Linux Editions dash x86.run. This laptop is using an Intel processor, an Intel x86 processor. Um, however, the VBox Linux Editions x86 is for 32 bit operating systems, so I need to use the AMD64 bit operating system version and so what I want to do is install that so I'm going to run that by s simply issuing the command phone slash vbox linux a d d i t o n s dash a m d six four dot run and I want to run all and it's going to do its thing and it's doing the installation yay not really that difficult to do. It's going to take a few minutes. Um, I think I'll go ahead and pause this while we're waiting for this to finish. Okay, wow, we are back and uh, you'll, say, you'll see uh, we've installed it. We must restart the system of course in order for everything to work. So um, there I am. I'm going to go ahead and hit exit and uh, uh, move this up. choose to uh, shut down and I'm going to choose to restart the machine and while the machine is doing its restart I'm going to pause this recording um, again. Okay the system is rebooted and uh, I've gotten this dialogue coming up telling me the guest OS supports mouse pointer integration yay the little icon tells me that I don't have to worry about it so I'm going to just turn this off because I don't want to be bothered with this anymore and I'm going to go ahead and sign in as root While I'm signing in, I'm going to move this over here so you can actually see down here in the bottom right hand corner there's a little cool little mouse guy. Let me bring this up a little bit more. So here's something outside my window. Here's something my actual window. And if I hold my mouse over that, so that tells me what's going on. And let me move that up actually a little higher so you can get the full thing. tells me if I'm captured, tells me mouse pointer integration is on, and what that means is I can do cool stuff now like this. I can open a window, and I can be in the middle of typing in my terminal window, blah, 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 and just immediately come out here and grab stuff. So I have moist mouse pointer integration is, is now working, and I'm quite happy with it. Yay. So my VirtualBox guest editions have been installed, and... Um, at that point, we're going to stop this recording, and uh, we'll see you on the next uh, version.